Breaking travel news at the Arabian travel market, email hospitality. Mark, tell us about uh, your presence here, your key messaging. Yeah, we're really happy to be back at the Arabian travel market once again, 2022. Last year was the year of recovery. This year is really looking at what is the future of the hospitality industry. So I'm really excited to be here. Um, for us, key messaging is all about, um, obviously, our portfolio, our brands that are growing, uh, not only here in the UAE, but also uh, a little bit further afield in terms of the GCC. Uh, we've got portfolios growing in terms of our presence in Bahrain, um, both in K Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and uh, the north coast of Egypt as well. So really good to see the brands growing. So we've had a lot of announcements that you'll have seen out in the press. Um, also a real focus going forward in terms of our sustainability uh, focuses uh, throughout the hotel, not only in terms of conservation, but also in terms of our best practices in terms of CSR uh, and use of non-plastic. So that's really something that we're very uh, focused on. And then also wellness is a big topic, not only um, in any of my hospitality, but also at the show this year. People are talking about you know post covid people are wanting to find those retreats we've opened up a number of resorts over the last uh, over the last year and we've got more to come because people are looking for those retreats to, to actually sure. move to and and then look at that whole holistic spa or spa wellness so what are your uh, figures like for the first quarter of this year if we sort of compare now with uh, pre covid well it's really interesting because that question has been asked a number of times 2021, I think it's always important, 2019 was a great year. So 2021 against 19, we saw growth, both in occupancy and average rates. So we are seeing a very much a return to pre-pandemic levels. Quarter one, 2022, we're seeing occupancies of 75% plus. And, and in March alone, we, we closed the month on 92%. So you can safely say we've had a very, very good first quarter. April and May looking great um, in terms of business on the books and achieving our targets. And then who knows for the summer and then into obviously quarter four is with FIFA um, and you know having that collaboration closely um, across the waters to Qatar. I think there's going to be a really good end to this year. There's some interesting talk regarding the FIFA World Cup with shuttle flights, executive flights between Dubai and Doha, which is an interesting development. Um, people coming to your stand, I mean, it's day three today, a bit quiet, but day one and day two, it was chock-a-block, wasn't it? I think, um, I don't know about quiet because the email hospitality, hospitality stand has got a lot of people on it. So I'm really happy to just have people come to see us, come to you know say we love your brand, we know about your brands or we want to know about your brand. So there's a lot of people around, um, there's so much networking going on, um, there is everybody from the travel and trade and tourism industry and hospitality industry here at the show this year. So it's a really great return to the show. What about the trade professionals, what sort of things have they been asking you about? I think uh, we've been asking about what you know what are, what are our expansion plans what are the products that we're offering in our hotels I um, mean it's giving us an opportunity to really be able to showcase the very best of EMA hospitality you mentioned earlier about the development of new properties and for the benefit of breaking travel news is Dubai London London people might not have seen so much media coverage give us some idea of the pipeline you've got so you say that yeah people in London might have not seen so much media with hmm. the, the, the amount of announcements you've made so give us a bit of an indication of the pipeline the delivery of new properties well, gosh you know we're we're very much we could we call ourselves an organically growing hospitality company so we're really making sure that we are uh, fulfilling our brand promises and and um, uh, entering into destinations with key partners um, we've got about four or five hotels opening this year both in the UAE and in the GCC um, and then into 2023 about the same again as well so we've got a really good um, showcase of, of all our brands as well which is great to see Mark, thanks very much for joining us. Very good travel market. Great to have you and thank you for having me.